As a facilitator, one of the technical issues that keeps coming up, especially in the early weeks of your course, is, ah, I forgot my password. How do I log in? All right, so this is an example of a first level technical assistance that you can provide. Guide them through the process whereby they can get the Moodle platform to send them an update for their passwords. Tell them to go to the login screen and you'll see uh, just below the login button, it says forgotten your username or password. They can click on here. And then the idea is they have to come up with either their username or the email address. They must be able to remember one of them. So the idea then is we can put in such information into one of them. And you'll see it gets a little message saying that if there is such a record in the Moodle system, then they will send an email with the details. All right, so now I've opened my email client and I'm looking for that message from the Col Moodle server. And there it is in my inbox. But it is quite possible it could end up in one of the clutter or junk email folders. So I advise them to have a look around if they can't find it initially. All right, when we look at the message, it's pretty straightforward that I would need to click on the link in order to change my password. All right, and now it's brought me in. And I would advise that they immediately go to their profile and change the password. Some of you, however, will have more permissions than normal. A facilitator would be about the teacher level in terms of Moodle permissions. But some of you might be managers, and then you've got a little bit more control over how to fix forgotten passwords. Um, and in that case, then, obviously, you need to be logged in and you need those permissions. But you can go into the site where the uh, students are working. You can have a look at the participants list. Look for the person who is requesting a new password. And in there, you'll notice that you now have the rights to edit the profile. So you can say edit profile. And one of the things you can do is you can insert a new password for them.